uh, right before I'm serving, I'm going to add in a little bit of sesame oil, that's it. Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make another Chinese New Year dish which is called Luo Han Zai, Buddhist Delight. Now it is basically a vegetarian dish. So the first thing that came into your mind is usually they won't use onion and garlic. All right? Today I, I'm not even using ginger. If you want to, by all means. <laughs> no problem, it's a home cooking. And uh, let's take a look at the ingredient. Basically it's a mixed veggie stir fry. Lah, huh? You can mix any veggie you like. But usually these are one are the more commonly found uh, ingredient that they will put. The, uh, we have some uh, cabbage. Yeah, this is cabbage and some uh, tang hun, glass noodle. I usually like to pre almost like pre cook my tang hun, but I I did not really cook it. I actually soak it under hot water for probably five to ten minutes until it is like 80, 90 percent cooked. Uh, so later I don't have to spend so much time for for glass noodle. And then I have some fried fuzu. Uh, some shiitake mushroom soak and also uh, slice some uh, carrot some uh, dried wood ear um, rehydrated dried wood ear soak and uh, slice and some jagong small ja baby jagong and this is the sweet pea now the thing about sweet pea is there is a center uh, there is a uh, you need to actually remove the line see we need to actually remove the line here. That can be very chewy. So remove that line when you want to prep the sweet pea, just like what I did just now. Just tear it off. Um, and usually they will also add in this thing called lily buds. Uh, I don't have the lily bud. Usually it's a dried lily bud where they, are, they just uh, rehydrate it and also they will tie a note in the center and use it. So that is the thing that I don't have today. And uh, usually they, are, they only use two one or two kinds of uh, flavoring, which is very simple. Some vegetarian oyster sauce. Yeah, this is vegetarian oyster sauce, approximately one tablespoon. And also one piece of red fermented bean curd. And this is actually the water I use to soak the shiitake mushroom. So we are going to start by giving a little bit of vegetable oil. Approximately two tablespoons to start with. Then we can actually add in the carrot and also shiitake mushroom. Um, shiitake mushroom you want to saute it first to really bring out the flavor as with the carrot because you want to have it in contact with the hot oil so that it will start releasing the carotene and um, the carotene will then give you the vitamin yeah the vitamin a and you will definitely ooh, I can smell my mushroom already very nice next thing we can add in the wood ear, sweet tea, the jagong, and the cabbage. We can add in the mushroom water. We will definitely have to add in a lot more water here because later we are going to add in the glass noodle which is going to soak up a lot of water later. So now I'm going to add in a bit more hot water here. Since it is vegetarian, so I'm not going to put in any Shaoxing wine today. And I'm not going to use my cooking apple chicken stock powder as well. <laughs> And now we can actually season this with uh, this is vegetarian mushroom. I'm uh, sorry, vegetarian oyster sauce. One tablespoon. And not forgetting our one piece of red fermented bean curd. This is what gives it the red color and also the unique flavor. It is the red fermented bean curd. And this is very salty, yeah? so later you may not even need to add any salt already. Fermented bean curd also got white color. If you don't like red color, then you can add in the white color ones. Mmm, fragrant. Next thing, we are going to close the lid and let it cook. 
Let it simmer under medium heat for a couple of minutes before we continue. I'll come back shortly. So this is after approximately um, four or five minutes simmering. Now I'm going to put in the fried fuzhou. Fried fuzhou will, uh, will not take too long time to cook and also the tang hun, glass noodle. As I mentioned earlier, the tang hun is going to soak out a lot of the sauce. And you can actually have a taste of it if it's um, not salty enough. Uh, feel free to add a little bit of light soy sauce if you like. This is light soy sauce. The thing you really want to make sure is cook is your mushroom, your shiitake mushroom. Well, at least five minutes like, in total cooking time for your shiitake mushroom. So I'll give this another two minutes, two to three minutes, then everything should be done. By the way, do take note that the mushroom I use today is actually the smallest one. Yeah? So the bigger it is, the fatter it is, the longer time you need to cook your mushroom. Right, this is after another two minutes, simmering. Everything should be fully cooked by now. And right before I serve, you still can adjust, uh, use uh, some salt and sugar to adjust the taste if you like. Uh, right before I'm serving, I'm going to add in a little bit of sesame oil, that's it. Done. And I'm going to serve. Right, so here's our very simple uh, Buddhist delight today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.